It's Thursday, and you know what that means. What is going on everyone? Broken Mike here, welcome along to the channel, and welcome along to another episode of BUW. This is episode 163, and this is the go-home show before survival games. Now, of course, guys, I'm not 100% sure when I'll be able to do survival games, but it, tr trust me, it will be in the coming days, so do be on the lookout. And, as always, guys, we have got 10 matches for you in total, which will be spread across the next four parts. And, of course, we will be kicking things off with a singles match, and it will be Aussie representing the Aussie Outbackers, going one-on-one -on -one with Landon, representing the Magnum Foundation. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. Now, if you guys do enjoy what you see, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike, hit any comments below, and do be sure to subscribe to the channel. Coming your way once again from London, England. About to get set for some BUW action. The fans amped up and ready. And what should be an absolute classic. Making his way down towards the ring first, representing the Magnum Foundation, Landon. He might have a smile on his face now, but uh, I'm sure inside he is bitterly disappointed. He didn't win the King of the Ring tournament just 24 hours ago. Landon was knocked out in the first round against David Labby in what I thought was one of the matches of the tournament. Landon looking to bounce back from that disappointment. Got to take on a former world champion. And a former King of the Ring winner in his own right. And his opponent from Australia, weighing in at 233 pounds. And making his way down toward the ring, representing the Aussie Outbackers, Aussie. As we just mentioned, the King of the Ring tournament, Aussie, who won the tournament last year and went on to capture two world championships. It's been a while since we've had a proper show. A proper BUW show that didn't involve tournaments. So we'll be back to our old traditional BUW rules with no count outs. Two talented young superstars. And here we go. This match is officially underway. And look at Landon looking to knock Ozzy off his stride. Landon on the middle rope. Uh, spinning Phoenix Splash. And Landon looking for the cover, looking for an early win. A two count only, and Landon can't believe it. 
And Landon planting. Ozzy hooks the leg. Just a one count again. Looking for the knee drop. No one home the second time. And Ozzy with the right hand. Northern Knight suplex. Stump on the face. Oh, wait a second. Landon with the counter. The rip caught knee lariat into the cover again. Lousy again kicks out at one. Landon really feeling the pressure. Good grief. Another Phoenix splash this time from the top rope. Nozzy this time with the counter. Kick to the back. Stomp on the elbow. Land and counter in. Stomp on the elbow. And land and with the single leg camel clutch. Looking for the submission victory. The lock up. Nice takedown from Ozzy. Knee strike to the face. Stomp on the arm. Kick to the gut. A clubbing blow to the back. Ozzy now ascending to the top rope. About to take a high risk. And it pays off with the splash. Ozzy. Dropping a couple of elbows. And there's a trifecta. Three elbow drops to the chest of Landon. Hip toss counter from Landon. Off the ropes. Knee drop. <clears throat> Landon with the chops. And the spinning wheel kick. Landon absolutely fired up for this match. Trying everything he can to get back to winning ways. Cover. And a near fall. Landon cannot believe it. Here's the frustration setting in. Nozzy could be in trouble. A counter from Ozzy. Sweet chin music. Ozzy falls into the cover. Oh, it's a rope break. How unfortunate for the former two-time world champion. Tuning up the band. Will we see an encore? We do. Hooks the leg. And, wait a minute. Was that free? No. The official says two. The fans, the chant, we're not worthy. These two men putting on a brilliant match here. Last chancery from Ozzy. Is Landon going to tap? Landon hanging on here. Ozzy letting Landon go, which could be a mistake. And Landon with the counter. The lock up. The float over. Oh, no, wait a minute, no. Ozzy able to counter. Transitions into a German suplex. Absolutely fired up is Ozzy. The chop. Northern right suplex. Ozzy fired up. Rolling next snap. Landon kicking Ozzy away. Lock up once more. Gut buster. And Landon could be looking to finish Ozzy. He tried this with David Labby. It did not quite work out for him in the King of the Ring. Hits the last shot. Landon 
with the cover. And no! Aussie kicks out at two. Landon can't believe it. <laughs> Landon can't believe it. Is Landon getting doubts? Are the doubts setting in for the former Intercontinental Champion? Kick to the gut. DDT. What an opening contest this has been. Diving knee drop. Heads to the top rope. Transitions into an 054. Hooks both legs. Will this be enough? It is enough. And what a victory for Landon. Now that's how you bounce back from a disappointing King of the Ring tournament. Incredible opening contest. We thought Ozzy had it there with the second sweet chin music. Landon getting out the last moment. Landon hit the last shot to the back of the head. Wasn't enough, but this was the 054. Here is your winner of the match, representing the Magnum Foundation, Landon. And as I just mentioned a minute ago, that's how you bounce back from a disappointing tournament for that young man. He just pinned a two-time world champion. Congratulations to Landon. That's a huge win. Absolutely huge. Anyway, on to our next contest. And of course, scheduled for one fall. And it is a tag team match coming from the men's division. And this should be an interesting tag team match. Because we have got... Davey Roche and the current BUW YouTube Champion Nash Okur, the Nexus Nation, going head-to-head. -head. With Cadigan, the BUW Global Champion, and Felix, representing Cadigan Club. Who it is. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 388 pounds. Making their way down to the ring first, Davey Roche and the BUW YouTube champion, Nash O'Kerr. We will see Nash O'Kara go head to head with the BUW Global Champion at Survival Games in an All Champions Clash. One of these, one of, the, one of these two champions certainly will uh, get bragging rights going into that match. And making their way down to the ring 
representing Cadogan Club. They are the team of Felix and the BUW global champion, Cadogan. As we mentioned before, Cadogan will go one on one with Nash O'Kur at Survival Games. No title will be on the line though. But of course, maybe a win for uh, or a pen de pending decision for either Felix or Davy Roche over one of the champions could potentially see them next in line for a title opportunity. But look at this Cadigan and Nasha Kurt, the two champions, starting things off. Springboard Moonsault from Cadigan. Cadigan into the pin. Just a one count, and Cadigan can't believe it. Oh, Cadigan went for a springboard sent on, but just a glancing blow as Nash O'Kora's getting back to his feet. Waist lock. German suplex, no, Nash landed on his feet. Left hands from Nash. And this time, right hands from Nash. Baseman drop kick to the back. Cadigan catches the leg. Oh, Nash inside cradle for the victory. Just a one count. And Cadigan firing out the side headlock. A kick to the knee. Nice takedown. And there's a tag in both corners. Felix and Davy Roche in. And Felix with the right hand, a second generation superstar. The son of Minion and Mialjid who will be in action in our main event this evening in a mix, huge mixed tag team main event against Nathan Saunders and Brittany Beth. And sorry, uh, Felix absolutely fired up for this one. Knee to the side of the face. Felix absolutely amped up. Into the cover. Just the one count, and Felix can't believe it. David Roche back up. Felix looked like he was going to back up and tag in Cadigan. No. David Roche catches him. A modified blue thunderbomb. And Davy Roche absolutely fired up. The lock up. Of course, Davey Roche and Nash Akur, former BUW Tag Team Champions. Oh, in total control of this matchup, as Roche stumps a mud hole in Felix. Into the cover. And Felix kicks out at two, and Davey can't believe it. Roche. Top rope calling Felix to his feet, but uh, Felix was already too far away for him to hit anything big, but he hits a big time brain buster. Nash O'Kor tagged in the YouTube champion. Nash takes flight, diving ahead, but no one home. Sit down, spine buster. Cadigan tagged in. The lock up. Oh, look at Cadigan. End of days. 
And Cadigan perhaps looking to end this matchup with that super kick. And a headbutt, was that just a, I think that was just above the waistline. Suplex. And Cadigan with the walls of Cadigan. Davy Roche saves the match. And Cadigan misses wildly that springboard cross body. Dragon screw. Lock up. Cadigan to a kick to the midsection. Whipped into the corner. Elbow from Mash. The chops, the right hands. And Cadigan get his arm pulled out of its socket. Cadigan with the elbow. And over the top rope goes Mash O'Kur. Right, right in the, by the announce table. Cadigan meets Nash on the outside. These two will have a incredible match, no doubt. Oh, Cadigan look, hits the kill switch on Nash. Into the ring apron and just missing the steel steps. Stomp on the elbow. Cadigan absolutely ramped. Fired up here. Nash, he's been busted open. He, after he got hit by that kill switch. It busted him open. Cadigan sent into the barricade. Right in front of the BUW fans. And there's a standstill here. Nash. Back on the outside meets Cadigan. Swing in that breaker. Hair pull, neck slam from Nash. Follows up with a standing sent on. Working on the arm. Lock up. Oh, and Cadigan. Shoulder first into the still steps. Cadigan could be out cold. Well, he's stirring, he's coming too. Shots, kicks from Nash. DDT. And I think Cadigan's been busted open now. So both men will, will definitely be having, this, having some stitches after this match before their huge champion v champion match. Cadigan set across ringside, Nash re-entering the ring. Well, Nash returning to the outside, Cadigan. Things haven't looked good for Cadigan in the past couple of minutes. High angle back suplex. The lock up. Suplex. Lock up, kick to the gut. And Nash about to powerbomb Cadigan. And Cadigan saves himself from further damage. Nash into the barricade. Now another standstill. A little pause in the action. Cadigan. Too sweet in the crowd. STO. And Cadigan. Looking for the finish. Oh! Nash transition into an RKO. Felix in off the tag. 
shoulder breaker. Another shoulder breaker. Felix trying to do the damage. Shoulder breaker again. Slamming Nash's head into the canvas. What a crazy reversal that was from Nash to Cadigan from the curb stomp. 619. It connects. Will Cadigan pin the YouTube? Sorry, will Felix pin the YouTube champion? Davey saves the match. Back suplex to Roche. Roche on the outside. Forearm to the face. Felix, top rope. Five star frog splash. No! Knees up. Rapid fire rights from Nash. Looking to send a message to Felix, to Cadigan, to anyone looking to step to the plate. Kick to the gut. Brain buster, shoot. Rolls into the cover. And Felix kicks out at two. Nash can't believe it. Tag team wrestling the chance. And indeed, what a match this has been so far. And look at this submission hold of modified STF. How long can Felix hang on here? Davey tagged in. And now Davey looking for a... Oh, looking for the running knee. Felix sidesteps. Kick to the midsection. Oh, on the shoulders. Burning hammer. Hooks the leg. Cadigan saves the match. There goes Cadigan. Things have completely breaking, broken down here. No pun intended. Counter from Roche. Kick to the gut. Brain buster. Shoots the half into the cover. And the Nexus Nation victorious. What a match that was. Great back and forth. Look at this. 6 1 9 from Felix. Look at this from the Wiley Coach. Can 40 had it at the five star frog splash. The think Felix took too much damage to the head. But here are your winners of the match the BUW YouTube champion Nash O'Kerr and Davy Roche, the Nexus Nation. And what a huge victory that is for that duo. Not a good day in the office for Cadogan Club. But anyway, moving on to our next contest and our final match before we take our first break. And we got our first bit of action from the women's division. And this one, it will be... Mia Leanne representing Sister Act. And she's going to go head to head with Maria Rose.
She's in a fighting mood tonight. <clears throat> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Lee Ann! Making her way down towards the ring, representing Sister Act, Mia Lee Ann. And Mia Lee Ann looking to put her disappointment at, at the uh, Queen of the Ring tournament a few weeks ago. Gonna put that behind her and get back to winning ways. Her own, the former women's U, uh, YouTube champion's only victory since returning to BUW was uh, ending Lady Kenzie's undefeated streak. And then the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament fell at the first hurdle to Kissable Demon. And her opponent making her way down towards the ring, Maria Rose. Maria Rose, who's achieved so much in such a short of space of time. The first year of BUW, she won the Women's Journey to Gold ladder match and successfully cashed in to win her first World Championship. And went on to win one further more world championship. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. We haven't seen too much of this young lady in recent time. Maria Rose looking to make an example of Mia Leanne here tonight. And this match is underway and here we go. And Maria sending Mia into the corner. Head first off the turnbuckle. Knife edge chops from the former world champion. Kick to the knee. And Mia ready limping. Not a good start for the former YouTube champion. Mia back up to her feet. Sends Maria over. Maria on the out. Sorry, me on the outside. Meeting me, Maria. It's going to be a bit of a tongue tie this match with these two ladies. And Mia Leanne with some left hands on Maria. The lock-up. Into the announce table. Kick to the back of the knee. Another kick to the back of the knee. And Maria, Maria in a trouble on the outside in that Boston Crab. But of course, she knows she won't, won't be uh, losing on the outside. Sending Mia back inside. Great defensive work momentarily for Mia. And there's a colossal clutch. Will she make Mia submit? No. The lock up. And there goes Maria. Mia on the outside. Short arm clothesline. And you've got to ask yourself, what would a victory for Mia do over a two-time world champion do? What would that do for her career and her confidence? But Maria not looking to find out. 
kick to the ribs. A shot to the midsection. Snap suplex. The lockup. Back inside the ring. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Stop on the elbow. Top rope goes Mia. Hits the elbow drop. Into the cover. Oh, and that was close. Mia scoring a near fall over Maria. Maria, sorry, Mia has definitely turned the tide of this matchup. Up until that point at least, Maria sending Mia over the top rope to the floor. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, folks, of these two ladies. Names being similar. Maria with a counter. Nice takedown. Rapid fire right from Maria Rose. Back up. Side headlock. Running Bulldog. And I think Mia's head bounced off. That's still great by the entranceway. Diving knee drop again. Knee drop attempt again. This time no one home. Mia able to counter. Sorry, Maria able to counter. It's back and forth. Takedown from Mia. And a stop pull her leg snap. The lock up. M Maria gets sent back inside the ring. She's holding her leg there. Holding her left knee. A former world champion is in trouble. Elbow drop. Trying to shoot the half into the cover. And a two count only. So close for Mia. Kick to the midsection. Butterflies. Well, sorry, the uh, fairy tale ending from Mia. Looking for the running knee. No one home. Oh, and Maria with a hammerlock DDT. That could be it. Hooks the leg. And M Mia gets a. The shoulder up just before the free count, and Maria can't believe it. Oh, Maria was looking for a crossroads. Said Mia gets thrown across the ring by the hair. Single leg camel clutch. Will Mia submit? Will we see a submission? No. Lock up. Nice takedown. And Maria with those rapid fire rights. Ma Maria about to take flight. Elbow drop. Into the cover. And Maria Rose is victorious. Incredible match. Absolutely phenomenal matchup again here. These two women putting on a decent showing. And how close was Mia to getting a huge victory? There's the fairy tale ending from from uh, Mia, or as she likes to call it, Mia's wings. So nice to get to see the hammerlock DD twice. Neil's the finish there, the uh, elbow drop from Maria, giving her the pin, and the win. Here is your winner, Maria Rose. And here is your winner of the match, Maria Rose.
And what a huge victory that is for that young lady. As she looks to continue to climb back up the ladder to success here in BUW. But anyway, folks, that is going to be it for this first part of BUW. If you guys have enjoyed what you've seen so far, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike. Hit any comments below, and do be sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, guys, as I said, if you missed the King of the Ring tournament from last night, then do be sure to head on over and check it out. But until then, guys, we have got plenty more action still to come. Seven more matches to go, including two more huge tag team matchups, including yours truly in action next. So don't you dare miss it or miss a second of the action on BUW. So until then, I will see you all after this first break.